you so much for taking the time with me today. Uh, I want to sit down with you because Startup Health came out with some really exciting news uh, just this week. I believe it was, it was yesterday that we are launching, we have launched a diabetes health moonshot and you are a critical piece of this. So I wanted to sit down with you and understand more. You know, we have, we've been supporting startups for years uh, that have worked on type one and type two diabetes under the umbrella of access to care, uh, chronic disease, curing disease. Um, but, you know, this is a targeted specific mission for diabetes. So I want to start by asking you, why was it important to be specific about this one disease um, instead of leaving it under a broader umbrella? Yeah, great question. Um, diabetes care is in a crisis right now. It's been act the number of people with diabetes in the U.S. alone has gone from 10 to 11 and a half percent since the pandemic. So we're talking about increased mortality with side effects, uh, the cost to the economy, and there's so much specialized care that needs to be uh, innovated and applied to the population that even the difference between type one and diabetes and type two is really, there's a lot to it. And so we really, this is a call for innovation. This is a call to get all the great innovators who are doing things in academia or have them in the ideas, you know, make them real and transformative to the economy and to the world. Are there some uh, are there some types of innovation, um, whether it's you know in, in the glucometer market? Are there things that you're you're really excited about right now that you think we need to invest more into? Oh, absolutely. So Startup Health is very focused on doing things through a, uh, a scientific measuring process and targeting. And right now we're starting with the need to solve for the type one diabetes population because there's so much innovation going on there with the tools and equipment that you, measure, you mentioned, the need to increase data analytics and artificial intelligence and care to really scale telemedicine to this population because the costs are very significant. As the moonshot evolves, we'll be investing in type 2 diabetes, uh, gestational diabetes, and also the different markets. I, it, most people are not aware that a quarter of the senior population has diabetes. And so think of, think of all the care and innovation that could be applied just for taking care of that population alone. And that need is growing every day. Yeah. I'd be remiss to not mention that you're a type one diabetic, so this is incredibly personal for you. Uh, and I wonder, you know, if there's a type of technology, if there's a challenge that, that you're personally invested in seeing solved because you've lived it. You know, type one diabetes, the body does not create any insulin. So everything has to be done through problem solving and guessing and tools. So anything that would help make that process easier. And when I say anything, it spans from devices to care to digital technologies to education. A lot of the providers are really not equipped to handle the type one population and there's a limited number of endocrinologists in this country. So anything that will scale care is really, really important for the type one population. Having said that, I think the diabetes moonshot for everyone with diabetes, and not only in the US, but for the world, has the ability to be transformative in a way that's never been done before. Because there are pockets of companies around, but there's really no central innovation engine and a community with the collective intelligence and creativity of a startup health. So I'm unbelievably excited about this. So the Diabetes Health Moonshot is a call for innovation for startups. Uh, I'm guessing at various stages, not just early? It's at all stages though, Startup Health does focus, focus on, on early, early stage because the value of being part of the Diabetes Moonshot as a transformer company, which is part of the Startup Health portfolio, is not only access to capital, but it's the connections and the network of the investor community, the potential client base, the health plans, the insights, and all the coaching that you need so that you know, the entrepreneur is not alone, that they can learn from and not repeat, you know, failures, but learn from the lessons that have been great and just accelerate. 
I'm guessing in addition to being a call for innovation, it's also a call for partnership. You know, oh, it's going to take absolutely. stakeholders at every level. Absolutely. You know, what do you want potential partners, hospital systems, investors, what do you want them to know about the need for diabetes innovation? Absolutely. So diabetes innovation in itself is a piece of the puzzle. The other part of really di taking care of the person with diabetes is the web of different solutions that really help the person. And what I mean by that as an example, 40% of the people with diabetes have some form of mental health challenge. Mm. And so Startup Health has a portfolio of moonshot companies focused on mental health. And so you start to see a connected web of relationships within the startup health community. And so what I really want them to know is that by working with an innovation company within the diabetes moonshot, they're getting the benefit of that intelligence and that solution, but they're also probably gonna get the wider collective wisdom of connecting with the startup health community to solve for the whole person, not just the, you know, the one healthcare metric but how are we really going to improve the, per the health of the person with diabetes? I heard someone say recently that I innovation often, often happens in, uh, in an adjacent position. So uh, you're not going at it directly, but at an event like this, you, you bump up into an idea that you didn't realize was possible. So that's kind of what I hear you saying, the idea of coming into not just a single solution, treating a single patient type, but an ecosystem of innovation where you discover what's possible adjacent to where you are. Does that sound oh, right? Without, without question. And to give you a sense of scale of the need for innovation, when I was diagnosed at the age of 36, I was told that a cure for diabetes was around the corner. Wow. Well, it's been a lot of years. Okay? And we're really at the same stage. So what are we doing with people with diabetes? In the meantime, we need to be helping them manage their condition. Yeah. And we need to be able to help them use the technology that's become available and the new meds and help them stay persistent on it and everything that's involved, the mental health and everything we just talked about. Well, that's gonna take a global army of companies and that's why I'm so excited Startup Health committed to the Diabetes Moonshot. David, thank you for taking the time with me. I'm very excited about this Diabetes Health Moonshot. We're just in the early stages of this call for innovation. Um, I hope that companies, what is it, startuphealth.com, people can come and learn more about it. Um, and we'll make sure there's a, there's a link to that. But uh, keep, keep up the great work and uh, we'll, be, we'll be watching what happens next. Awesome. Thank uh, you so much, Robert. All right. Thanks, David.